We'll go ahead. We'll name it after Rob. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate you. Rob. 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 Oh, yeah. Rob Mance. Guys, 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 I absolutely hate shaving with a passion. Like, I always love how I look afterward, but oh my god, trying to shave this part is oh. it's impossible. Frank, you, you know the part that I'm talking about, right? The, I do. I do. Once dude. you get to the ball sack area, man, it, it just gets tough. You got to work around the flabbiness. It's, dude, because also, I mean, it's hard too, because like when you're shaving your face, like you have a solid, well, semi solid position to work with, but like, dude, you get to the ball sack, it's just like, you know what I mean? I literally. Anyway, What's up, everybody? Speaking of shaving, I have not shaved, and I'm sorry. I am so, like, I know it's bad. I apologize. I really Okay, do. well, now I'm going to ask the question. Go! Woo! Where didn't you shave? Was it on the face, or was it in the ball sack region, where it's apparently so difficult to get to, apparently? <laughs> well, it, it, oh, God. I mean, are, you, are you disagreeing? Are you disagreeing? Absolutely not. You ever nick yourself down there, and you just start, like, spewing blood? Like, <laughs> stuff's terrifying, actually. It's actually... I'm traumatized. <laughs> it's like the Nightmare Before Christmas, but with a lot less Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's honestly, it's just a nightmare, bro. Which, yo, speaking of that movie, too, me and Frank did an entire Soul Link based off of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. You should go check it out because it's actually really freaking dope. One of the coolest projects I think that we've done together so far. Yeah, no, dude, I look back at that project and I, I saw our backgrounds and I was like, bro, we had yeah. such good Halloween backgrounds. Like, it was actually right? incredible. Like, dude, that, the artwork, the theme song, like, we went all out for that Soul Link and I, yeah. I, I almost like, I don't forget that it happened, but it definitely, like, isn't nearly as apparent in my mind as, you know, like, any of the Core 4 stuff or, you know, Generation Race to the Ultra Challenge Moon Co-op or something like that, you know? Yeah. And well, I, I almost don't know why. What were you about to say? <laughs> no, that was so funny. I, I, like, I went to go say something, and then you heard me say something, so you stopped talking, and then I stopped talking because I, like, f felt myself cutting you, you know, off. Anyways. Um, I've, I've really noticed that you are super, super, super apparent. Like, you're very, very self-aware of how little things in conversations like that go. Uh -huh. And instead of using it to your advantage to make conversations not have awkward moments like that, you try to encourage that. You try to make it as awkward as possible. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I just like poke in the fire. Like, especially in Vinny Nice Cage Lock, dude. It happens all the time. Like, there'll just be like an awkward silence, and I'll like, we'll just we'll just clown on it. It's so funny. No. Dude, okay, okay. So I, I watched an episode of your guys' cage lock uh last night while editing Gen Race. I, I actually grabbed a clip from your cage lock, and that's why I ended up. Uh, watching the rest of the episode was just because, I don't know, I grabbed the clip and just let the thing keep playing while I was editing, right? Yeah. And Jesus Christ, yes! <laughs> no, you do that on purpose! Yeah. You'll literally be in a conversation with Vinny and just... <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, we've kind of... It's so weird, right? Because like when we started commentating with each other, we were very mm -hmm. awkward, but not intentionally. And then we got to the point to where like, we were just kind of normal. And then now it's like, yeah. we just don't care. Like we are yeah. so carefree. It just like, it makes it so lackadaisical and just Okay, funny. it's at the point though, like where, okay, yeah. At first when you guys were, you know, just getting used to working together and commentating together, there's learning curves with that kind of stuff. When two content creators start working together for the first time, Definitely not perfect in episode one, and you know by the time that the series continues going, the chemistry improves over time. You know, uh -huh. uh, once you take that concept and you apply it to doing like a dozen series with all of your friends and all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, it gets to a point where you can literally autopilot this. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, and literally we could just hop into an episode and boom, like it's just instinctive and natural at this point. You can do it just second without even second thinking it. All right. But then you moved on to the next step above autopiloting and just you're self-aware and it's bad. <laughs> like you, <laughs> you're super self-aware of what you guys can get away with. You guys can just literally <laughs> stop talking for like three minutes <laughs> and it's fine. Yeah. People <laughs> still watch. I know. Dude, because it's like, it's like, it's like, I, I feel like it's almost one of those things where like we kind of have like that unspoken chemistry where it's like yeah. if I just stay dead silent like I know it's not gonna get like really awkward, awkward. if anything it's gonna be funny awkward you know what I mean exactly exactly but dude the, the episode of cage like that I watched you guys just let it sit for like 20 <laughs> minutes like 
Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Have a conversation. You guys don't talk anymore. You don't just talk. No, yeah, we literally, we what, our, what we do is we just kind of bounce from like one topic to the next and then just make random noises in between and just hope <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I go, hope. <laughs> literally, dude. Uh, in the episode that I watched, I'm apparently giving the official Ryan review on episode like seven, the cage lock or something like that. But uh, you guys were even like clowning on just like, oh man, why do you guys watch us? And I was like, Oh God! It's generation race. We <laughs> question why you guys watch us too. Like, uh, I think it's at just, least it's not just an us thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think honestly, like, okay, we 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 joke around about that, but honestly, like, if we're being for real, I'm actually really proud of the content we've been putting out. Um, yes. Like, I, I think I think honestly, the series that we've been doing lately have honestly been some of the best content we've made. You know, I, dude. Okay, generation race. It's gonna be weird to like rank this one with the other series that we've done because it's almost like because we're doing this over the time span of, you know, freaking months and months and months. I'm going to have to actually sack Boner, unfortunately, because this Mudkip went for Bide and I almost killed it. Um, but it's going to be weird to rank this one because it's like we're doing multiple series, even though it just kind of keeps going, you know, and it's like, yeah. Kanto is rough, I'm not even gonna cap, but I had so much fun in Johto and Hoenn now. So it's like, do is Generation one of my favorite projects? Yes, I think. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> I think. You see what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah, I, I get I get what you're saying. Cause it's like, because it spanned across so many, like mm -hmm. so, well, first of all, so much time. Wait, yeah. I'm using the Devon's code? Oh God, man, Jesus Christ. I'm trying time to get- Time another... is just an illusion. I... And so is death. Yes, and taxes. I'm trying to get another encounter here before I actually take on the gym. Um, but but no, it's like, yeah, this project spanned across so much time and so mm -hmm. many different, like, obviously, like, ups Phases and downs. Phases of our lives and ups and downs, exactly, you know? Yeah. Like, literally just the beginning of the generation race, I feel like I'm a pretty different person now. And it's only been a few months. And same with you. You moved to a new apartment. I got a new background. One of these things was more substantial than the other. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I lost my virginity between the start of this series and the end of this series. Whether this series actually relates to the fact that I lost my virginity is up for debate. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, but, okay. Actually, it was the intro moment for episode 32, and that that's why episode 32 never got posted. It was because YouTube was like, no, we can't post an intro moment where Frank's losing his virginity. That That's not... It's against community guidelines, man. What the hell? Absolutely. Dude, I really, I need, I need a good third encounter here. Like, I'm kind of going off on a limb, just kind of praying I get something. But man, it's, because like, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the gym unless I get something good here, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Otherwise, you will need to grind, and that's going to take a lot of time. I still forgot to pull up my member list. I apparently <laughs> just forget every episode at this point. So I called him Mudkip, and I was just trying to think of, who's a member of my channel? Who's a member of my channel? Dexel? I hope. All right, congrats. You're a Mudkip. <laughs> I'll have you know. I, uh, I actually, I have also been really bad about pulling up the member list. Um, yeah. But I've actually, I've been thinking lately, and I don't know if you've heard this whiff of this idea that I've been thinking about, but I've been thinking about hmm. taking a lot of the Mattress Master perks and like moving them down to the bed boys. Interesting, interesting. Yo, what's your thought process behind that? Why are you, why are you looking into that? Well, so, well, so, okay. So it was like, I, I think it was the combination of like, I think the biggest thing is the movie nights, right? So in case you guys don't know what yeah. the Mattress Masters, we usually get on uh, like once every two weeks or so, we'll get on a Discord call and we'll watch a movie together. Um, mm -hmm. And so those movie nights have gotten less and less popular, like as more people, um, which understandably so, like the, the, yeah. the match master tier being $50, that is a lot. Like that's not really sustainable for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, exactly. And so, and so because of that, especially with COVID and all that, um, yeah. it's gotten to the point out to where I would rather open it up to more people in the bed boy squad because it would give us the perfect amount of people to have a full movie night. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, you know, I've like been bouncing back and forth with ideas of just like, oh, I'd love to do a thing called Hanging with the Hokages, where, you know, we do live streams, where we play games together, hang on Discord, movie nights, you know, all that kind of st fun stuff. But I'm just kind of like, well, uh, y yes and no. Like, it's a cool concept, but I also like what we built up for uh, my member squad, where it's just kind of contribute and support however you want. You have access to all of the perks, you know? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. The it, problem it, it, is though with things like uh, movie nights and hangout nights. Well, at that point, I kind of have a pool of over 350 people, you know, and obviously 350 people can't hang on Discord to watch a movie. So that's kind of where I think like having a perk for a higher tier can come in. I don't know. I've been very back and forth in case you haven't been able to tell. What are you dealing with? You look stressed, bro. Uh, okay. Um, 
or you just literally climaxed like on camera. <laughs> no, so what the hell was that noise? Oh, God. I don't know if we can actually. I, we we can't. We can't continue off that. We can't. We gotta. No, we gotta I, stay I won't. On that. I won't lie. I'm actually in a pickle man. So this thing, this thing, it's a Reggie Rock plus one, plus one attack, oh. plus one defense, and it, it it could have explosion. A plus oh. one explosion will. You know what? You're predicting the explosion. I'm gonna make a pro I mean, play. No, no, no. Okay, like I see the pro play that you're making. Yes, like that's smart. He can't get hit by the explosion. Oh, but Frank, that was dumb. Yeah, but he's setting up. No, more. no, it's cool. What, it's cool. What can, what can Dom do to that thing? I can, I can, Dude. I can hypnosis. I can hypnosis. Okay. All right. I mean, like that's also not Wait, bad. Wait, we, we outspeed. Oh, cause curse is lowering. He missed. Wait, what? Okay. Oh my god, we just got so lucky. Oh well, my just god! Just missed. I, I missed that text on your screen. <laughs> okay, okay, we got the hypnosis off. Okay, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into my whale. <laughs> All right, Vinny, where you at? <laughs> stop! Mm. Stop! No, I'm gonna go into I'm my joking. whale, and I'm gonna hit him with a surf. It's gonna be a rain boosted surf. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to kill this thing, right? Uh, Jesus, man! I just need. I need one honestly, more Honestly, yeah. Don't wake up! I, Don't I mean, wake up! It's okay. Oh my God, Franken! He's poisoned too. I, I wouldn't take a turn and heal that, but that's just rough. That's just rough. Uh. I feel like I feel like at, at this point, if I don't go for surf now, because like okay, I have to I have to just go for it. I have to just go for yeah. it. Yeah, no, you, you, you have. Come to, you on, have rain to. boosted, super effective. Yes, let's go. Oh you got me God. really nervous. You Jesus. got me really really nervous, dude. That could have been so bad. Oh. Yeah, no, that could have been. <laughs> So anyways, uh, crisis averted. Now I'm going to make sure to, you know, speak on the thing that gave me slight anxiety for a second. Hey, guys, I, I don't want you to think that I am actually, like, talking crap on Vinny and he's not actually a whale. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, no, I love I, him. No, yeah, Vinny, <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, Vinny is a, he's skinny as hell. Um, no, okay, on the real, that dude has been grinding. He, he, his run times have been increasing. He's been at doing cardio at the gym. He is being a slim boy right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I like the fat jokes on Vinny and stuff. I don't mind making them while he's skinny. <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. And it's just fun to give your friends and clown on him. Like, give him friends crap. Yeah. But I don't feel right when I call him a whale while he is in whale status. That's, that's not fair. <laughs> yeah, it's like when he's in his school form, like, it just, it's not even fair. It's <laughs> just not. <laughs> oh, God, man. Did you Yo, we should make a petition for Game Freak to change Wishy Washy's name to Vinny Washy. <laughs> <laughs> But he's in his school form, dude. <laughs> oh, God, man. No, literally, uh, Wishy Washy is literally Vinny, bro. Yeah. No, like, it's, it's one of those things, right, where, like, like, okay, it, how do I explain it? It's like he, when he, when he is, you know, heavier, he, uh, like, he, well, he, when he's heavier, he jokes about it himself. Like, he, you exactly. know, he's very, he's very, like, self-aware in that regard, so. Yeah, that right there, the fact that he jokes about it himself actually kind of, like, in our friend group gives us the go-ahead to kind of be like, this is something that he's comfortable with us clowning on, you know? Yeah. I re-watched the first episode of 2 2 Soul Link last night because I literally could not sleep. And, dude, Vinny was relentless on me. Or, it was, I think it was episode two, actually, not episode one. Actually, it was both episodes. Vinny was just a dick. <laughs> All right. So Damn. you know what? Now I don't feel bad. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I. Uh, by the way, guys, talk about the game for two seconds. I'm gonna still try and get this encounter down here because I feel like I need it. But man, dude, this is rough. I won't lie. So what's your game plan if you don't have the encounter? Then then I just gotta take on the gym. I mean, like my my goal is to get like. Maybe if I can get like two encounters down here, I'm kind of doing things out of order just because I, I don't feel like I'm ready to take on the gym. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Which it sucks because it, it's taking a lot of time. But I mean, you know, got to do what you got to do, I guess. Big facts. All right. So over on my side of things, all right, I have a couple of encounters now. Uh, I have Blaziken, Meganium, and a Mudkip. That's literally a set of starters. I think I'm set for the rest of the game. Oh my God. Yeah, you're in a you're in a good position to eat some. Eat some. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. We were doing so good in the last episode and this episode to not bring up consuming the anal area. We, no, we're not. I we mean, will not. Technically speaking, you just brought it up. Like that was that was all you, bud. That was all. Wait, am I able to? If I go down here, am I able to get back? You're kind of right. You're kind of right, and I'm pissed about that. I'm on my way to the uh, the volcano right now, though. Oh God, that makes me happy. Oh, you still have a solid lead, though. I mean, kind of. At, at this rate, I don't know, man. Avoid that trainer. Is it not a new route? Where's the new route? There it is. Oh, God. There it is. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's route 21. 
Or 120 win. Uh-huh. That's an outdated meme. <laughs> yeah, no, Good Jesus God. Christ. But honestly, I think I should. So I'll be able to get the Route 121 encounter, and then I could probably also get the surfing encounter for Mount Pyre, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't actually, I didn't realize you could go down this far. This is actually surprising to me. I think Oris, they're separate encounters, but in Gen 3, they're the same. Isn't outside of Mount Pyre and the interior of Mount Pyre, are they the same thing or are they different? I have no idea. I'm not even going to try to answer that question. By the way, Primate getting crits. Ooh, stop that, Yay. please. Okay, okay. He Ooh. set a focus energy on you. I learned from the Roxanne the moment, the Roxanne situation. That That's how that happens. That does, I've that learned. does make sense. Okay, we're going to go into my dick here. Oh, geez, Louise. Anyways, going back to like, because I, I was really interested in the member conversation we were having. It's just, it's just some, it's just interesting, man. Because I think, I don't know, like, I don't want to take away from the people that do go so far to like support us, you know? Oh, 100%. Um, uh, but I also feel like. Especially the $50 tier, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I also feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like some of these perks are more applicable elsewhere. You know what I mean? And I feel like it, it could be nice yeah. to have it be more accessible for more people. See, so this is something that's kind of been like being bounced around in the core four when it comes to member perks and everything. Like when they first, actually fun fact, we all had access to uh, memberships before they were called memberships. They used to be called sponsorships uh, back in 2017. And uh, one of our biggest things was, you know, giving cool perks to all of the tiers and it only went up to the $50 tier. Uh, they unveiled the $100 tier earlier in 2020, and we had no idea really like how to go about it. Where we were like, so do we just kind of move our perks up a level? That wouldn't be fair, you know? Do we even like change all of the names and do the Hokages become the $100 tier now? You know, stuff like that. Uh, and our biggest stress with it has always been we don't want to take away. Uh, from the people who have already, you know, become a member in a specific tier and, you know, we want them to have their perks. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm also thinking about it from, like, the longevity standpoint, from the point of view of just, like, yo, all of us in the Core 4 are trying to do content for literally the rest of our lives, you know? New features are going to be implemented in YouTube over the next couple of decades. Freaking, uh, I... I almost feel like we shouldn't, like, try to avoid changing up member perks and stuff like that. Almost, like spin it into a positive and adapt with how YouTube changes, you know? Like, for what worked in 2018, uh, Mattress Master Movie Nights was a really dope idea. But maybe 2020, it's going to need a new kind of, like, look on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it's... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I think a lot of it, too, in the hard, the hardest part about member, uh, member tiers, specifically, is, mm -hmm. like... Well, first of all, with YouTube, you can't change the price of a tier without deleting the tier. Yes. Which is That's super, weird. that is super annoying. I wish you could at least, like, I wish you could just make the tier a lower price. Like, I can understand a higher price because, like, you don't want to raise it and then suddenly people are paying more money. But if you lowered yeah. it down and then you just gave out a notification, like, hey, you get to, you're paying less for this now, you know? Um, what, do you think there are going to be people out there who are upset? Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I can see that yeah. being smart. Uh, but unfortunately, if you try to change the price, you have to make a whole new tier, which removes everybody from that tier, which obviously mm -hmm. is not ideal. Um, yeah. So but, that, I mean, that's like those. That's like the stuff like that happens, though. You know, like you did yeah. that recently, and you lost, I think, like over a hundred members, which is kind of crazy, you know, to think about. No, yeah, literally, yeah, because I think we were at like four hundred something, and then I deleted the love seat lod tier, which I, I don't regret. Mm -hmm. I think it was better, um, yeah. overall, and I'm still like, I'm, I'm still happy with it. But yeah, I literally, I lost like like 150 members, something yeah. like that. Yo, the love seat lods were iconic, though. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the highest amount of members that you've ever had at once? I think I hit. It was during the the white two, the white and white two sleep lock. I think it was like it was like close to five hundred. God, that's insanity! I know it is. It is so crazy, man. And I would love to get back there someday. It's uh, you know, oh, it's yeah. gonna take time for sure. Oh um, yeah, it's a grind for sure. Uh, what I've really learned with like YouTube and everything lately, especially, is that it's uh, it's just a ton of hills and valleys. Is uh, it kind of. I don't know how to explain it the best. Like sometimes with your channel, uh, and this includes members, this includes views overall, this includes sub count, everything about it, right? You know, you go through periods of time where your channel's thriving and you're putting out bangers and bangers and bangers and you can't believe that your life is like this and everything is insanity, you know? Like mm -hmm. I think the most recent uh, like instance of that happening for any of us, I would probably say is the 2v2 gauge lock, but I don't know, also you look at like Vinny and Dylan, who are doing their soul link, and like Luke and Dylan doing their cage lock, and it's like, and maybe not, I don't know. Or like, we can look at Genrace. 
But at the same time, you'll also go through periods where you kind of are in a transition page, uh, where you're kind of in between projects and, you know, things aren't as on 10. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that, that's, how, that's, how, that's how it is. Like, I don't know. I think it's like mm. with YouTube, YouTube is just, it's so unpredictable. Uh, yes. Which is like, it's like a blessing and a curse. You know what I mean? Uh, it's yeah, like on one hand, definitely. It, yeah, like on one hand, it's like, it's like, you know, you can have like really, really exceptional time periods, but then other times it's like, you know, sometimes it, things aren't as good. It, things are just slower. And that's honestly, it, I'm also realizing too, I think that's just a healthy way to run a channel in general. If you're always trying to, you know, keep the valley as high as possible or keep the hill as high as possible, uh, then I think that could lead to burnout. That could lead to actually like doing too much and you're grinding too hard. I don't know. Yeah. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. You want to you wanna find a good balance, too, because if you end up just, if you end up always trying to, like, reach that high, man, you'll end up, you'll end up honestly destroying yourself. You know what I mean? You'll end up falling very low. God, that's deep. We need to change this. All right, <laughs> okay. no, no more serious talks. Yo, so, Frank, uh, how are your farts? My farts are pretty tough. I'm going to go ahead and name this after Manny Motion. Thank you for being a couch crew member, my guy. Hey, appreciate that. Thanks, thanks. Manny. Now that I'm like trying to like look back and think about this, I think the most amount of members that I ever had at once was also almost 500. I don't think that I ever quite made it to 500, um, but it would have probably been when I grinded the Metapod to level 100 in the Pokemon X and Y live stream. Yeah. I want to say. Because I, I remember we hit 469 in that live stream. We huh. hit 420 members and 469 members in the same stream. Nice. Nice. Um, <laughs> but... I, I don't think we quite hit 500. What's kind of crazy is I remember doing my uh, my black sleep lock for my birthday last year, and we hit we ended off that stream with 250 members, and I, my mind was blown. And that number has never it, it never hit that point ever. I think I was averaging like 100 members before even entering that sleep lock stream. You know? Yeah. Like that was some insane support. But a year later. Now we are hovering around a 300, 350-ish, normally. Mm -hmm. That's insanity, man. It I is. Struggle, 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 struggle to wrap my head around the fact that, honestly, this is, these are our lives. Yeah, no, we, yeah, we are extremely blessed. It's like, because it's like, it's crazy to think, too, like, when we, when we met, we had 200 subs. Yes! Like, we, had, we had 200 people that uh, clicked the subscribe button for free. Yeah, you know what I mean? and now that many people, if not more, are sending us money. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like paying for a membership. It's like, it, it is crazy. It is ridiculous. Dude, I seriously cannot, I cannot wrap my head around this still. It's been, I've been doing this full time for nearly two years now, and I still just, I don't know yeah. what it is. It doesn't, it almost doesn't feel real. Like, dude, you ever just like stop by a live stream of Vinny, Dylan, Luke, you, honestly, any of us in the friend group, you know? And if there's just this like row of red and pink, it's just such a like, I cannot believe that this is real. Yeah. You know? No, yeah, God, we, we really are so blessed. Like, thank you all so much. It's like, and it, it's just, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what we did. <laughs> I, I really don't. Yeah. Um, I don't know what Same. we, I don't know what we did to deserve this type of support, but we just, you know, we're, we're always going to do what we can to make the best possible content we possibly can for you guys. And, yeah. you know, try to have as much of a positive influence as we can. Exactly, you know? Like, I always say that the members are the ones who go the extra mile to support the channel, and you guys are the reasons why we're able to do what we do, you know? Yeah. And because you guys go the extra mile to support us, we want to go the extra mile and make sure that you guys are happy in the community. Wow! That is a rough encounter. That I, is, I can't even cap. That's disgusting. I'm actually, I'm actually upset. I'm going to check to see if the Mattress Masters, if anybody would have... Uh, God, okay, yeah, thank God. Um, <laughs> I, might, I might have had to ban one of you guys. <laughs> well, but could you imagine, like, uh, just getting a message from YouTube, just, you've been banned from Astro Media <laughs> Videos Enterprise. You like a Zigzagoon. <laughs> like, yeah. Why would you pick Zigzagoon? No, no, it's cool. Though. We'll go ahead. We'll name it after Rob. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate you. Rob, 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 uh, drumline instructor, not drumline, jazz band percussion instructor. Shout out to Rob. He was like a 40 year old dude and he could groove. He was a homie. That's cool. Yeah, I yeah, actually, yeah. so I know that that egg encounter was disappointing, but I caught an execute and I won't even lie. I'm actually very happy about an execute. It's a psychic and grass type and that, that fills in my typing. 
That fills That's in my... That's very excellent of you, Frank. Are you going to stop, like, now, or do I have to go over there and, like, force you to stop? Like, what? what's You said a bad Rob Mance, like, a <laughs> minute ago. <laughs> right, you have no room to give me crap for my puns. You know, you know, honestly, fair. I was going to try and refute that, but, yeah, you're absolutely right. That was disgraceful. <laughs> no, it was genuinely disgraceful. I, I think Gen Race might need to be canceled right here on the spot. I bro. won't lie. I can't believe we even kept it going after Deceive Wing. Like, that, that might have been, that should have been the notion to stop. Dude, I love how, like, iconic Deceive Wing has become. Because <laughs> uh, it's the stupidest pun. Like, that is flat out, you hit rock bottom that day. No, like, yeah. That was bad, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a yikes. It's a yikes. All right. So, why do you watch us? I'm, I'm going to go back on that topic. Please leave it in the comments because I still I can't wrap my head around that either. YouTube is a very confusing industry. It really, it really is. Uh, by the way, I'm going to, I'm going to timestamp real quick. I'm going to keep this as my team. Just, uh, just up, update the layout to look like this. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to use these three mods, but I'm going to keep them for death fodder just in case. Death fodder, so that way they can have your HMs, kind of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I don't, you know, I only, I only plan on using the the main three that I got. Execute Wilmer and uh, my man, but you know. I feel that. Want to make sure that. I'm prepared. So, Frank, what are some YouTubers that you've been watching lately? Uh, I've actually been watching a lot of Harris Heller, uh, which, if you guys don't know who he is, he uh, he does, like, a lot of, like, he's just, he, he, so, okay, he's been streaming and, like, doing content for a very long time, and he just has, like, a lot of experience, and he's, like, mm -hmm. he's very smart when it comes to, like, like YouTube and Twitch and all that. Um, yeah. So, I, I've been watching a lot of his stuff. He just has, like, a lot of really good, like, perspectives and ideas when it comes to content. Dude, that's so cool. Okay, I'll be honest. When I asked you that question, I more or less already had like a list of YouTubers in mind that you're probably going to respond with, whether uh -huh. it was like, you know, Michael Reeves, the Linus Tech guy. Uh, I don't know. We could bring up Matt Pat for a dozen <laughs> time this series, you know, but that's a new one. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. How'd you find him? Um, I don't know. He kind of just showed up my recommended and I kept watching him and I actually really like his stuff now. It's uh, yeah, I, I honestly, I, I hadn't told you about him, but I think you would like him too. Honestly, you should give him a look. Dude, 1,000%. Honestly, send me a link to his channel. All right, I will do like, that. Like, literally take your hands off the controller right now no, and send me a link. I, you know, you know, bro, I appreciate the offer. However, I am good. I'm very Frank, good. Frank, my, my Twitter DMs are open, and they, they are here for you. So, I mean, if you wanted to do that, please. Well. I, I need some new people to check just out. Come on, bud. eat my penis. Just, just. Just eat it. All right. That's a little vulgar, Frank, but I mean, all right. I guess we're in this situation. <laughs> I guess <sighs> I guess we do what we got to do. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Yeah, no, I've been uh, listening to the Tiny Meat Gang podcast a lot lately, which is freaking uh, Cody Ko and Noel, Noel Miller, and they are so oh. freaking funny, man. That's the, that's the button guy, right? <laughs> I love how Cody Ko is just known as the button guy to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the button guy. He's Actually, the button guy. I don't know, know he had a podcast. That's cool. Yeah, dude, okay, I, him and Noel Miller, when they get together, are some of the funniest freaking people on the platform. I genuinely think that. Like, I don't know, I see a lot of me and you in their content too, which is a weird way of like, I don't know, it makes it fun for me to watch their content, you know? Uh, it's like they kind of do the stupid humor like we do, but they're in their th almost 30s, so it's almost like it's done better. I don't know. <laughs> not, <laughs> they're just, not they're, better. They're, they're just but, us, but like with more experience. Yeah, honestly, better wasn't the right word. More chill. I'll go with that. <laughs> Less yeah. hyperactive. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah. cool, though. I'm actually, dude, I'm so sad. So I usually, when I, I, I got into podcasts when I was mm -hmm. doing the HelloFresh stuff. Like, I used to I used to really like cooking and then, like, having a podcast on. Um, yeah. And I, I ordered HelloFresh again. I was trying to get back into it. Um, mm -hmm. but my order ended up getting lost in the mail. And so I just, Aww. I just, I just didn't get my food this week. I've been having so many issues with mail here. Like, uh, like I've got most of my packages, like with the exception of like the HelloFresh stuff. Um, yeah. but it's like, and your literal furniture that took three years to arrive. Yeah. No, I've just been having so many issues with it. And it's like, now it's like, because of all these issues, even though it's been mostly successful, it makes me nervous. It's like order stuff just cause I feel like it's just going to get lost, you know? I mean, if you wanted to order stuff to my house, then you can come over and we can actually spend time together. I mean, that'd be great. I, I would really appreciate that because I enjoy hanging out with my good friend Frank Radici. But oh right. my God, you're I, you know what? I'm gonna send my HelloFresh to your your house. You cool with that? <laughs> cool. Right, I sick. may or may not cook and eat it before you get here. Sorry. 
you just, you just, Could you I, imagine you show up and I was like, oh, hey, Frank, your Hello Fresh is here. <laughs> Dinner served. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just a big old bite taken out of it, man. Uh. Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, definitely. If you guys are looking for some new content creators, boom, right there. Noel Miller, Cody Co. And what was your guys' name? YouTube Twitch extraordinaire, Harris. Henry Harrison. <laughs> uh, Henry uh, Hen from Thomas Henry the Tank. Henry Danger. Yes, Thomas the Tank. Ha yes. H Harry Potter Harry. or something, something, something. Har yeah. Harris Heller. Close, though. You were very close. Nailed it, man. But yeah, no, definitely. Oh my uh, God, you're taking on Check it all out. You, you are not taking on Flannery. Why? Dude, I don't understand. Well, I mean, okay, I do kind of understand why I'm going so slow because I took all that time to get that encounter. But still, like, dude. Oh my Dude, god. I think what's also helping is I am one-shotting everything right now. It's not even like, uh, you have to deal with uh, battles every now and then. I haven't had a rough situation. I just battled a literal Rayquaza and it was fine. If I can deal with a Rayquaza, I can probably deal with anything. Yeah, I, I won't. I won't lie. That grinding actually really because like now, like I with Mew, I was kind of steamrolling, right? Because I had like a really good thing going. But now, yeah, now yeah. it's like I'm just barely on par and I, I am struggling with with certain typings. Exactly, man. You fell behind in the levels. Like I, it took me three episodes to grind to this Blaziken, you know. And I know that the comment section absolutely hated it, but like, like it uh, actually, it actually works out. It actually works out for you. But I, I think honestly, if I wouldn't have lost my Mew, I don't think it would have been that much of an advantage for you. No, definitely not. I think you losing the Mew was a huge like saving grace for Team Pineapple for Hoenn. But I even, I could see us catching up in Hoenn again. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I, I could see it as well. Don't get a crit, don't get a crit. Then probably falling behind once we get to Sinnoh again. That just seems to be the running theme of Gen Race is Team Pineapple manages to catch back up and then gets dicked again. <laughs> yeah, like, that's basically that's basically how it goes. Yo, this Magneton, I I hate this thing so much. I have nothing to touch it with, and it just it just keeps Yo, would you say that you hate that thing? A magneton? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> oh my God, you are so funny. Land the fly, also kill your fan. Okay, thank God. <gasps> Frank, Frank, okay, okay, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you just threaten to to end your dick's family lineage? Bro, I mean, it you can't be. It worked, didn't it? I mean, he, he did thund land he the fly. He thunder waves me again. Dude, I swear to God, oh. I'm done with this guy. I am, oh, stra no. I am straight done with it. And the sonic boom, yeah. stop. Just stop, right. just stop. All right, Frank's dick, no pressure, but if you get paralyzed and you don't connect to the scratch, your family lineage will be destroyed. <laughs> yes, my dick, I hope you're not close to your relatives because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. So when are we trying to end this episode? Right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button down below, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate... Or actually, do you want to... We're both in a gym. No, we'll do it next time. We'll make them wait. Aha! <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> we'll catch you guys all for the next episode on Thursday on Frankie's channel. Yeah, we love, love you guys. All. Like so much, for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we're just going to keep working as hard as we can to bring that high quality content for you guys. Love y'all. Yeah, we hope you guys have an amazing day. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace! Peace, peace. Bye!